Hello, I'm Tilly Douglas and today I'm going to make a Christmas themed snippet roll. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while and haven't actually got round to it until now and I thought I'd just record it and bring you along for the ride. So these are some snippet rolls that I've been making. Um, this is kind of a pink themed one but it it didn't I didn't intend it to be that that's just how it turned out and then I've decided I wanted to do a green one so I'll just quickly show you these I just love them they're really nice they're like really quilted because I've used it as a plain fabric on the back and then in between I've put some lace it's a piece of lace curtain because I've got lots of lace old lace curtains so I just put that in between and then put my fabrics and embellishments on the top of that so it's made it really quite like a quilt and I just love it it's nearly too nice to use to cut up and use but they just make lovely little snippets if you do decide to cut them up I will cut it up eventually when I've stroked it enough times <laughs> but this is just beautiful I love it these are all sewn on after I finished it. I sew all these little bits and pieces on by hand. But these are all done with the sewing machine. And I just think it looks so pretty. And you can put anything you want on them. Little danglies. These just little bits of trim. This is a, a, a piece of lace applique that I hand sewed on afterwards because of all the, the pearls and everything. I didn't want to be breaking my sewing machine needle. That little bird cage. I just love it. And these are some little um, labels that I made. Stamped them out and then did different stamps within the label. Tiny, tiny little buttons. Just think they're beautiful. Oh, please do excuse my dirty fingernails and fingers. I've been tea dyeing. <laughs> and they're all stained. They're just unavoidable I'm afraid when we do these sort of things aren't they so little bird I think they just look beautiful and I love them some um, beads sewn on and then if you want to make it longer you can just add another piece of this onto this end and it works beautifully so that's that one and then this is my green one, as you can probably tell. <laughs> so I just hold them together with these little heart shaped pins. They're not the strongest of pins, but they do the job. Little bows. I didn't make these bows. These was in an embellishment pack, so I just decided to use those. A little charm. More of those lovely beads. I love these beads. I think they're beautiful. A little stamped sticker, a little wishing well, more of that beautiful lace trim, some little metal buttons. You can put anything you want on them. I just love them. And these are just some little feathers, metal feathers on with a little ball pin. And they work really well because then you can move it if you want to. And this is a tiny little little stamp, metal stamp charm. Love this fabric. It's just got these little birds on it. I think it works so well. And this is a little key again held on with a little ball pin. That's come undone. I'll do that up so I don't stick myself with it. Another one of my little labels. And that's the lace curtain that I use between the backing fabric and the little snippet fab fabrics. I just put that on just in case I miss any spots. But I'm not going to put that on today, the, the lace curtain. Um, I'm going to use this red fabric. And I've got loads of this fabric because I use this so much. I often use it for the back in the back side of when I make the bunting. So I love making bunting and this is what I usually use. 
so just about it's about two and a half and it's not level about two and a half inches three inches in some places it's not level i've just cut it and i can't cut straight lines but that's my backing now i've sorted a load of stuff out to make this with i've got a big box of stuff here let me just zoom out a little bit there so these are all lots of things that i think i might want to use these are some um i printed these out uh little decorations they're just on 160 gsm card and i thought i could use some of these i printed them down to size and then i i didn't cut them out by hand my i've got a cricket maker so i cut them out on my cricket maker so just some lots and lots of lovely little christmasy bits um these i got from creative fabrica and then like i say i cut them out on my cricket machine uh, just some beautiful little bright coloured beads or just bits and pieces. I mean, little embellishments like this. This is from the works if you're in the UK. Uh, I think I got this last year, though, I think. Um, some little coloured pegs, some more beads, my gold marker, some lace trim, some little buttons that I thought would look snowflakey, like snow. Just beads and baubles and things and these are these little spacer beads look like little snowflake ones so i shall be using those but i'll sew those on afterwards so i don't break my needle on my sewing machine so they're really easy to make these snippet rolls so as you can see you can use tons of different stuff i've got lots of little christmas charms that I'll sew on by hand. I mean, I don't know where these came from. These have just been in my stash for forever. Just some little gold stars. So they're ideal for using up your stash, all the bits and pieces that you haven't been using. Oh, this is a um, a pack. Now I have, I know I've had this for a long, long time. So ideal time to use it. So like I say, it uses up all those bits and pieces that we don't get round to using. And then I have another box here. I'll try not to knock the tripod. And this has just got lots of fabrics. Just some fabrics that I thought I might might want to use. Christmassy stuff and reds and some lace trim, ribbons. This is a little bell this was off a, a lint chocolate bunny or chocolate santa or something like that so ideal to use those some little bit of rickrack that's got a nice shimmer to it so i thought that might be nice i'm not really one for using rickrack but i thought that was quite a nice one to use in this and then i've got a lot of papers i don't know whether i'll use the papers or not but look at these a pound now i only got these about three weeks ago, two weeks ago, maybe, from the works. So, the beautiful, beautiful papers and ideal to use in this sort of thing for a pound. I mean, it's, I mean, the full price was only two pounds, so you can't go wrong at a pound, can you? And these ones are double sided. But they're beautiful. And then this one, a pound, was five pounds. This is an 8 by 8 inch. And this is a thinner paper, but ideal for using on this sort of stuff. So, I don't know what I'm going to use out of this lot yet. This one was £2.50. And this is a bit thicker paper. Aren't they beautiful? So, I can't resist bargains like that. So, just lots of trim... And then I thought, I'd get it all in one place, get it ready, and then I'm not hunting for things. That's a Christmas card. I don't know whether I'll be using it or not, but it's there just in case. So, that's all my supplies that I've got ready. So, the first thing I do is I get some fabric. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So, I just start cutting 
and tearing. Simple as that. Oh, this is just so lovely. That's that one. And then I just get all these ready in advance. And then just cut them, tear them, and they're all there, ready. Don't worry about sizes. I just cut them all up into this sort of size, but I'm not particularly fussy. Tear them and it gives you a nice raggedy edge, which is what I like. This is gonna add some beautiful Christmassy color. So that's that pile. I've got some red fabric here. And all I do with this, give it a little snip and tear it down the centre. So I'm going to go along and cut up a lot of these squares ready. And if I don't use them on this one, I can use them on another one or a journal cover. Oh, I've been making lots of journal covers lately. I've just become obsessed with it. <laughs> fabric. I've been working with fabric so much. And once you get your fabric out, well... There's so much you can do with it. And I have got a lot of fabric and a lot of offcuts that I've made projects with and I've got fabric left over. So this is a nice one because it's like a candy cane type of one. So this is from leftover from a project. So all I do is give it a little snip And then that just tears straight down. It's very therapeutic doing this. <laughs> and then snip those. And you can alter which way you put them, which gives it a bit more variation. So I just find this the quickest and easiest way, rather than cutting one bit off at a time I just tend to cut a load of squares like this get them all ready and then I've just got a pile of them that I can just grab and put in place so I'm going to carry on and cut up all these bits and pieces because I'm sure you don't want to watch me do all that and I will see you back when I've done them so that's a lovely big pile of fabric all cut up, torn up into squares, squarish pieces. <laughs> now, all I'm going to do is use my glue stick and start sticking them on. Now, to start with, it does look a bit odd. I mean, you think, oh gosh, no, 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 that's not going to look look right at all. And it, it looks a bit of a mess. <laughs> I'm the first to admit that. <laughs> But just keep going with it because it does all come together. I have a little tub here to cut all these little straggly bits off. Because I end up with cotton bits all over the place. So I just chuck them in there. So just a little bit of glue because this is just temporary to hold it on until I get it to the sewing machine. end up with 
bits of cotton all over my glue stick. <laughs> So this nice red stripey, that's really nice. So just go along building layers. So what I'll do is just cut that in half and use that in that space there. there so that we've not got to think too much about it really I do tend to just put them down don't think about does that color go with that color I just put them down just cut that one down a little bit as well because don't need them overlapping too much just need to Overlap just the edges is all. I don't want to be wasting all these bits of fabric by covering them up completely. See, this is why I've used the red for this because I don't I don't mind if there's a little gap here and there. I do get very stuck up <laughs> with all this glue and thread. <laughs> but it soon starts to come together. And this is just a quick and easy way to do it. Let's grab another piece. Stick it on. I think this is going to look fabulous. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so like I say, I've been making fabric covers. Let me just show you. I've been making lots of fabric covers. I just love them. I love making these out of either envelopes or cereal boxes or Amazon. You know, the thin, like the cardboard envelopes. That's what I've been using. And then for these ones, I've been using bubble wrap envelopes. So I get two out of one bubble wrap envelope. And I just love them. I think they're fabulous. Love making them. See, this is the same fabric I'm using here. I love this. Makes it look like grass around the edge. Just love it. So this was um, where I've used one side of a double envelope of a bubble envelope here. This one, it's both sides together. So I've, used, I've cut it round the edge and then pulled it apart to use both sides separately. But this one is a full one, so this is a really thick one. Aren't they fabulous? That's the front of that one. I love them. Really enjoyed making these. And then these ones are made with wallpaper. How fab does that look? This wallpaper on cardboard. Look how gorgeous that is. Wallpaper. Beautiful. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> Back to the snippet roll. <laughs> so that's that part finished. That didn't take very long at all. And it's getting there. It's building up those layers. And like I say, I know it doesn't look fantastic at the moment, but it all does come together. So now I'm going to start adding some embellishments. Now I'm being very careful not to add things like this that I can't do with the sew machine. So everything that I'm adding now, I, I need to be able to sew over. So a lot of these are to be added afterwards. I could add a bit of lace. So we'll just cut a bit of that off. And I can just add that with my glue stick. It's 
way around is that. I don't think it really matters too much. I tend to go that way. I like adding these bits of lace like this because they're nice to add more detail on top of, like the beads or buttons or charms or something like that. I might add these at the end because I don't want to have to worry about catching every little star with the sew machine. So I'll add those afterwards. The same with these sort of things. These are just some little, little rose embellishments. So they'll be added afterwards. And what I can add are some of these little paper embellishments. So, like I said, I've printed these out and cut them out on my Cricut machine. Um, I resized them, I've got them from Creative Fabrica, sized them down so they just fit nicely on here. And I did a little practice earlier of going around it with my gold marker pen, which I really like. So I'm, oops, I'm going to do that with these. I don't know if I'm going to use them all. Oh, this is a, a uni paint marker and these are fabulous pens so i just go around the edges to get rid of the white and then around the inside or the front edge i should say just to give it a nice border. So that's all those finished. I've gone around the edges with the gold and it just makes them stand out a bit more. So now I'm just going to start sticking them on. And I'm just going to use my glue stick. Just get a bit of glue on the back because these will be caught with this sewing as well when I do the sewing, so that's going to hold them on nicely. So I think the longest process of this whole thing is going around the edges of these, but you, you don't have to do that, it's just what I decided to do. Little gingerbread man. Oh, I've got a gorgeous gingerbread man charm that I'm going to be using. Look at that, isn't that cute? <laughs> I love it. Haven't got many of those though. I think they've only got two more left after that one. So I'm not going to be using all of these. But I will use them in other projects. Uh, which way up? I think that's the way up that is. Starts tying it all together now by putting all these little bits and pieces on. I love this one. I'm getting through so many glue sticks. And they're quite expensive, you know. So I've ordered some from Wilco's. If you're in the UK, I've ordered some from Wilco's. I don't know what their glue sticks are like. But I do like the Pritt Stick ones, the Pritt. They're not called Pritt Stick anymore, are they? They used to be called Pritt Stick. Now they're just called Pritt. <laughs> but I do like this one. It does stick well. But I'm going to try the Wilco's brand. If there's a brand that you know of that doesn't cost the earth, let me know. Because I get through so many of them. And it's, it does get quite expensive 
Yeah, look at that, that's lovely. Little snow scene with deer in it. It's beautiful. Oh, I've got some more freebies for you as well. I, um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I do try to give quite a few freebies when I can. Um, and they're on my website. Let me just show you. Because I've got some Christmas ones. These are the ones... Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see them a bit better. These are some Christmas ones that I've been working on. So you can go and download these ones. And I am working on some more at the moment. Some more Christmas ones and all sorts of ones. <laughs> all sorts of ones. <laughs> so these are on my website at craftspaceideas.com. Aren't they fabulous? I love them. Um, so I've got some little bows and I've done some different sizes. Some little holly frames. So go to the website. It's craftspaceideas.com and go to the freebies library. Um, there's two pages. There's one called the freebies library and one called enter the freebies library. So you need to go to the freebies library first and put your email address. There's a little box in there. You'll put your email address in and you'll get sent a password because I've password protected it. It keeps it safe and secure for, for you and for me. So that's why I've done that. But go to the freebies library first. Fill the box in, get your password. You'll get it sent to you straight away. And then you can go to enter the freebies library and you can put your password in there aren't these gorgeous beautiful old images look at these they're just stunning and all these will be available in the freebies library for you to go and download print well it's the pdfs so you can just go and print them out as many times as you want and use them for whatever you want and who doesn't love butterflies we're always after butterflies aren't we and look at all these so i've done two pages bigger ones and then i made them a bit smaller and did these two pages but smaller on there so these are the latest ones that i've just done but there's loads of stuff on there loads and loads of stuff you can just go and download it use it all for free um and i'm adding new stuff all the time like i say i'm i'm working on some more christmas stuff at the moment so feel free to go and help yourself um i'm working on a christmas journal as well so i've been using some of them in my christmas journal christmas junk journal so I've been enjoying working on that actually but obviously doing all these um, free printables obviously takes a lot of time so when I'm doing that I can't be on my journal but I do love being able to give things for free like that because I know how expensive it gets to try and do all these crafts so i just like to help where i can so that's those i might put a more a couple more ribbons on there these little little ribbons get a couple more of those on there i want to leave room for other stuff because i've got lots of stuff to go on them um one more ribbon and I think that will do for those. That can go on there like that. I think, oh, I haven't got any candy canes on, have I? No, I don't think so. Let's put some candy canes on. All starting to build nicely now. 
Christ, now look at the state of my hands. It's no wonder we get all stuck up and with all these glues and things. There, that will do. Now, get this lot out of the way. So that one's falling off, so we'll stick that one on. I'll take those off because it just bulks up, doesn't it, when we're putting it in the journals and we don't want a lot of bulk. So I'll stick that on there. Oh, there's no robins on there. Never mind. You see these, I've got sticky pads in between them as well. So I'm going to see if I can take that off. Yeah, that's fine. And I can use that for another one. Take the sticky pad off the back. Stick that on there. Um, where are we going to put that one? We'll put it here. There. I think that'll do out of there. I don't want to use too much because I've already got quite a lot of stuff on here. I think I might put some of this trim on. Quite like this one. here I think I can actually just put single ones on as well which I think I might do that because that will look quite nice like little Christmas decorations hanging down Yeah, I like that. I'll put another one on here. It goes nice against the red. And that one on there. So that's that stuff. I'm going to use some of this trim because this is a bit like the Christmas rose and it, I love this trim, it's beautiful. Um, these are little bobbins that I made um, to hold my trim and I made these out of Amazon boxes. <laughs> I use the Amazon boxes for so many things. So there's a couple more of them. Works really, really well. Use a bit of that trim. So I'm going to use that. A little bit of glue. And if I put a bit on there, it'll help hold that end down as well. Get it the right way round. That's beautiful. I love this. I've used this trim on all of my um, snippet rolls that I've made so far. I just get this. I'm pretty sure I got this from AliExpress. I get a lot of my trim from AliExpress. It's so cheap. Let me move my fabric scissors out of the way. I don't want those all stuck up with glue.
còn hộp ra Well, did we get that round the right way? It's a job to tell sometimes, isn't it? I think that's the right way. So it's coming together. It's starting to look really pretty. And you'll see when I sew it, that's when it really ties it all together and it just looks like it's all part of one piece rather than lots of little bits. Oh, I quite like that one. I've got to leave space because I've got um, lots of bits to go on afterwards, so I don't want to put too, too much on. And tend to get a bit carried away sometimes. <laughs> Who me? Never. <laughs> How very dare you? <laughs> it's known when to stop, isn't it? <laughs> that just helps tie down all those edges. Oh, also, what I've got uh, is sticky hands. <laughs> what I've got is these but i'm not sure if it's a bit dark to read them 11 ladies dancing 12 lords are leaping so 12 days of christmas and that was from this fabric and i've got a red one and a green one now that would stand out better but I didn't want to, I just tore a bit off the edge um, with those words on because these are too big to go on the snippet rolls. But it's all the 12 days of Christmas, five gold rings, six geese laying, seven swans swimming and all that jazz. You know how it goes. So I might do a journal cover with it. Um, I'm not sure yet. I've had that a couple of years and not used it, but I just love it. I just haven't got around to making anything with it. So I'll get those out of the way. And I think I could use this. I think the red would be better, wouldn't it? It stands out better. So. If we cut that along there. It's quite big. Don't want it just to get covered over with everything. It's quite big for on here, I think. So you want to sew over, it could possibly lose those words. Right, that one will work there. So let's put that one down. okay then now then now then now then now then um yep that one will go there i'm going to cut it a wee bit smaller just so i get the frame Right up a bit. And stick it down. There. Tuck it onto that bit. Fabulous. 
Fabulous, I see. Now, mine from us drumming, we can put that on here. I do love this fabric. I bought this off eBay, but like I say, I did buy it quite a few years ago. And you don't buy it by the meter or the yard. The person that was selling this was selling it by the amount of pictures. Like, I can't remember quite what it was, but two sets of the full song so 24 images in total on the sheet and i actually bought it after christmas and it was in the sale because i like a bargain <laughs> not a bargain if you don't use it though is it ah. right that's those bits Right, let's have a look how it's looking. Do we need any more? Probably not, because I'm thinking I've got lots of bits to add to it afterwards. So I think that will do. So I've manoeuvred everything around and adjusted my camera so I can show you the sewing part of it. Um, I've left it to dry a little bit so all that glue dries so it doesn't clog up my machine and made myself a cup of tea and while I was making myself a cup of tea my glue came so I wanted to show you this is the sort of envelope that I just move, oops, move that back there this is the sort of envelope that I use for everything so to make those ooh, eek to make those uh, bobbins and I use it to make my glue to make um, the fabric covers this goes in between the fabric layers and I use these for everything so oh, never chuck these away now, I promise I don't buy stuff from Amazon just to get the cardboard <laughs> but I have got everybody saving it for me so brilliant I love it when I get deliveries in this so anyway that's a side point <laughs> so so we're going to sew now to start with um i've got red thread in and all i do to start with is a straight stitch all the way around the edge so i start one end hold on to the thread at the back oh i do adjust I don't know if I can, you can see this. I do adjust the stitch just to make it a wee bit longer. I've got that on three and I've got my setting on one so it sews in the middle. So that's my settings for this machine. I mean, we all have different machines, don't we? But um, it's just a straight stitch and I just make the stitch a tiny bit longer. And then just go away all the way around the edge. Bit of a back stitch just to hold that end and I just adjust it as I go I have my little pair of scissors handy in case I need to tuck anything under get to the end lift the foot and go around the edge the end part, lift it up again and go down the other side. Let's cut those ends off so they don't get sewn over. Twist it round and do that end. Now you can do a straight stitch or zigzag or whatever you prefer. This is just how I do it. Now I'm going to do another stitch now and I'm going to do 
this wavy stitch. So that's number 21. And I know that because I'm doing that stitch, I need to change my foot. So I'm just going to switch it off. Take that foot out and put that one in. There. It's really easy to change the foot on a sewing machine. So pull the thread through, switch it back on, and now I'm going to change it to 21. I mean, you don't have to do this stitch at all. You do whatever you want to do. I just like to do this wavy stitch in the edge in the, the center it helps to catch all the bits as well so if you've missed it on one part it'll catch it on another so that's why i like to do that and it looks pretty <laughs> always got to make it look pretty if we can that's the whole idea isn't it so i just start so i do two rows of it so i start like a third of the way across and then a third of the way across there. And that's it done. That's all that part done. And it's really starting to come together. You maybe can't see the threads, the sewing on the back very well because it's the same colour as the backing fabric. But it, I hope you can see there. It just gives a nice a little bit of added detail, just a little bit of extra. So I like to do that. It just adds a bit more. So if you want to go around, if you see how this is stuck up like this, if you want to go around and glue those down, it's entirely up to you or you can leave it flat, um, loose, whatever you want to do. You can do another row down the centre to catch extra ones if you want to. I might do that actually because I've got quite a few. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll add another row. So that's that part of it all finished and it's really starting to come together now. So now it's time to start putting the lovely embellishments on and I love this bit. You can go crazy now. So I'll start with some of these little roses, little rosebuds. And I'm using Beacon 3-in-1. Same as Fabri Fix, um, I've got both and they work exactly the same. So, a blob of glue on the back, just glue these ones on. It helps glue it all together because they're a bit fragile, these things, they do tend to drop apart and just stick some on. Now, I've got some of these little tiny weeny little gingerbread men. And I've gone over them with the same gold marker that I had earlier and just coloured them in. So I just put a dab of glue on the back of those. And I don't want it near that gingerbread man, so I'll put it, I'll put it over here. I've got these little embellishments, these little pearly things what they would look rather nice. So out comes my fabric tack and we're going to start using this one now. So I've got this Tim Holtz ideology big chat and I thought I could put some of the words on here. Now I'm going to put believe on there. I think that will fit nicely. Try and centre it as best I can. So we'll just go around that with some white, make it stand out a bit. When I sew things onto here, I tend to 
not go right through the other side. I mean, it's not so bad with this because it's red, red cotton, but you would still see the stitching on the other side. So I tend to not go through all the layers. I make sure it's caught and holds, but it doesn't go through all the layers straight out the back. I just like to keep it a bit neater like that. It's just the way I do it. Of course, you don't have to sew them on at all if you don't want to. You can just glue them on. So all the gluing and sewing is finished. And there's one last thing I like to do, and that's just to trim these edges off. I just like to keep it all nice, nice and neat. So just mind that you don't cut the bits on the other side. Like that's quite close to the edge. So just mind you don't cut things like that. But I just like to go along and trim those edges. So that's that one all finished. And I think it looks fabulous. All bits sewn on, stuck on and embellished. So got a nice little snowflake charm. I'll put some little beads pearly beads on there on the gold trim to finish it off I don't particularly like these little gold roses I don't think they're very well made so they they might be coming off and I'll replace them with something else at a later time so I just think it looks beautiful very Christmassy tiny little gingerbread man stuck on there little stocking charm with a tiny little teddy bear charm the little snowflake spacer beads look fab i think they just give it a little bit of a little bit of bling a christmas tree and these little buttons they, they look like holly berries well to me they do <laughs> i think they look lovely and of course i had to use my gingerbread man charm because I think he's lovely so all in all I'm really very pleased with it little wings and this I thought looked like icicles so I put a bit of that on there and this is a little make memories and there's a little snowman dancing around in the snow. <laughs> so that's my Christmas one. So that's three snippet rolls, all made in exactly the same way, but just variations on the fabric and the colours. And they all look so different. But I love them. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to go and get the freebies from my website at craftspaceideas.com and I will be adding more in there very, very soon because I'm, like I said, I'm working on some Christmas ones now. So hop along there and just grab whatever you want, um, all for free. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the like button and the little bell notification so you get notified when I bring out more videos. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.